Yo, I can't get him off of me. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, no, not like this. No. No. Hey, everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome to the finale of Ark Modded Survival. This is the final episode of the season. Um, it's sad, yo. It's been quite an adventure. This has been probably the best Ark series I have produced yet. 67 episodes we, we enter today. This is the 67th episode. We've achieved more in this series than we have achieved in any of the previous seasons before this one. We took on the bosses. We took on all of the Anunnaki things that we had to take on. We've, uh, we've done pretty much everything there is to currently do in this game with the mods we have installed. Now, don't have a heart attack, everybody, because I would love to do another mod at survival. And I do plan on doing that, so it's all good. We will work this out. There will be more arc in the future. Don't, don't poop yourselves. It's all good. Um, I don't know if we'll be this season or the next season or the one after that. But I would like to check out the Extinction Extinction Core mod. I've heard good things about that. But I, I, I've been I've been brainstorming ways on how to end this one on a high note because, well, like, I don't know. We've done everything. We took on the Tech Cave last episode, and it was it was very underwhelming. It was very easy. It's possible if we have time, I'll check that out again today. But I I've been trying to think of what we can do just to like something epic, just to end this all. And I have. I've gone to the trouble of introducing a new mod to the game. The Godzilla mod. I thought it'd be really cool to take on Godzilla. Now, Godzilla ain't as strong as like anything in our in in, in the Anunnaki stuff. Like these dinosaurs just just absolutely stomp Godzilla. But I thought maybe we'd go like one on or like take a couple dragons and, and try and take him out with a couple dragons or something like that. Maybe we might stand a chance. So today we're going to be taking on Godzilla to end this one on a, on a, on a big note. Um, the only thing is, if I can get down, not all of my dragons have saddles. So we are going to assemble a small team of dragons, maybe five of them all together. And I'm sorry, turn, turn your speakers down if, if, if I, no, I'll turn it down in editing. Never mind. We'll get five of our best dragons. Oh my God. I, I really, I'm starting to miss the whole bad or Anunnaki mod, like the bad animations when you didn't have to listen to all of this flapping. In fact, we're turning this right down. We're turning this right down. And you also might have noticed at the top of the screen, we have a level up thing. That's because by completing the tech cave, we actually um, increased our maximum level. So I think I can actually go and 12 levels we've earned. Well, there you go. And I have no idea what I should throw these on. Probably health. Probably health considering we're taking on Godzilla. Now, I have gone and located a Godzilla. And by locating, I mean I've spawned a Godzilla in, and there he is. There is Godzilla himself! He's a level 5,000. I had to balance it. I had to make it so this final boss is actually a tough boss. Now, he's a level 5,000 Godzilla. Godzilla. He has 900,000 health. That's not much. That's not much at all. But he does a lot of damage, I think. I don't know. This is why we're not using our Celestials, because... There's no way. I, I don't know. The Celestials just wouldn't be too crazy of a time. Anyways! <laughs> we just go in and do it. Let's go, boys! In fact, you know what? I'll just attack this target. The final target. Let's go, Team Dragon! <laughs> There's honestly no way to end this on a big note. Like, that was just too easy. It was too easy. He went down. He didn't stand a chance. He didn't stand a chance. So yeah, that was um, anticlimactic, I know, but hey, we've got that OP stuff going on. It's just, we're unstoppable and there's nothing more to it. So maybe to wind up all of this, the right thing to do would be to take our little Bobby boy here into the tech cave, maybe just one final time. We'll see if we can do it. See if the dinosaurs actually want to attack us this time and if the game actually wants to work. I've actually thrown a tech saddle onto this guy too and he looks awesome with his, his bionic armor combined with the tech saddle. It's an awesome combination. And I also kind of want to see if we can get our Dodo Rex in there. So you know what? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's, that's going to be the new final boss. We're going in 
And we're going to try and take on the tech cave for a third time. Because <laughs> I, I did it twice last episode. Um, and then we will ascend for the third and what will hopefully be the final time. And that will be all. And that will be all. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I really wanted to end this epically, but there's just no way to do it. It's just, it's just impossible. It's impossible. It's just not happening. And for some reason, our buddy over there ain't following. Oi, hey, why aren't you following me? What you doing? Is he stuck? He's stuck. My little Dodo Rex. He's my. He's he's stuck. Wait, why did I bring him? No, that is the one I wanted. Okay, I was like, why did I bring the Celestial one? But no, I wanted the weak one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the weak one, sorry. Okay, so. So, now that we got them both here. I hope everything's still in here. It is. Let's go and start. No, yep, yep, yep. Let's open up the gate. And first thing I want to check out, can we get a Dodo Rex through the door? The answer is yes, we can. And it's going to let me do that? Okay. Didn't think it would let me. Interesting. We're also getting quite laggy. And then we're going to take Bob. No, Dodo Rex. Dodo Rex, you banana. What you doing? Follow me. You bananas, get in here. Bob, Mr. Dodo Rex. <laughs> oh, it's running up mountains and stuff. Get inside of here, baby. Okay. We have our two dinosaurs. The only two dinosaurs, birds, whatever. We're going to need, hopefully. Now, let's do this thing. I'm going to be riding Bob. And if our Dodo Rex wants to help us, he can help us. I just really hope it's more difficult than the last one. And for some reason, mate, you got to give me some breathing room. Otherwise, I can't move. How do I tell you to, like, back up a bit? Medium. Let's go to high range. So, hang back a little bit as we run. No. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Okay. Are we going to get attacked this time or what? No. Again. Again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Tater Rex behind us is just mowing everything down. Why is this guy so slow? Bobby boy, I thought you were going to be a little bit faster. Your boy Rob. Actually, no, Rob was pretty slow as well, wasn't he? But, um. Wow. The cave is, uh. Hold on. Oh, there, they're attacking me. Yeah, they're coming to attack. Yeah, it's a shame they don't stand a chance. But not everything's coming to attack. The Kano's are like, yo, it's too much for us. We can't handle this. We can't handle the truth. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go and jump straight down here. We want to break the fall. Don't want to take no fall damage. Yeah, look, these guys attacking us. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now bring your whole army. Bring everybody. Look, the badass Kano, he, want, he don't want none of this. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad. I'm not going to lie. Hey, mate. Oh, yeah. Allosauruses, they want some. It's still, they still got no chance. I don't even I don't even need the Dodo Rex. In fact, the Dodo Rex doesn't actually do that much damage. He only does like twice what our, our Rex here does. Where are all the Dimorphodons that are supposed to pop up and kill us, though? What happened to them? Look at all the badass Kano's. Didn't stand a chance. Didn't stand a chance. The other reason I'm doing this is because apparently there's like a real ending that we wouldn't have got otherwise. Like, you got to do it three times to get the real ending. Or maybe that's just like the best result or something. I don't know how it works, but this gig is about to fall in the water. In the lava. Don't you dare, Dodo Rexy. <laughs> he fell in the lava. Oh, you moron. What were you thinking? I wonder if we can get out of there or not. Oh, no, Dodo Rex! No! Get out of there, Dodo Rex! What were you thinking? Dodo Rex! At least kill the Giga. At least kill the Giga. I'd better not get Bob in there. Otherwise, then we're in a lot of trouble. How's this guy still alive? Come on, Dodo Rex! You must get out of there! I don't think he's getting out. He's stuck. No! No! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to go on without you, though, buddy. He's stuck. A poor guy. The sounds of him crying in my ears is so distressing. Look at this guy. There's like T-Rex stuck in that wall. Oh, I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Don't judge me, everybody. Don't judge me. It's just one of those things that's it's going to happen. 
I also want to get a closer look at one of these guys while we're here because what in the world is it? It's like a feathered T-Rex. Such a weird looking guy. Didn't last any longer than any of the T-Rexes though. Oh man. Such an anticlimactic end to the season. But I thought we, we needed to end it on some... Hey, hey, look at this guy. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Bring in the fire. Oh, God. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. They're going to push me over the edge. I actually can't turn around. Okay. We are taking damage. We've got me halfway down. Yo, I can't get him off of me. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. No. Not like this. No. <laughs> No! No, I'm gonna die! Come on, Bob! I tell, I'm telling you there was nothing I could do to avoid that. And there still is nothing I can do. I'm stuck. Come on. I have no idea how I'm getting out of this. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> Teddy! Oh, look, it came to say hello! Scared the absolute crap out of me. She touched my foot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Say something. Say something to the microphone. Say something to the beautiful people. Oh, not to me. No, she ain't, she ain't very talkative today. But this is Santi for those of you who uh, haven't met her yet. I haven't seen her yet. I'll do a proper. I'll do a proper video showing. Well, I'll do a proper introduction eventually. She's just kind of cruising around the house right now. <laughs> But, um, yo, there might be a way out of here. Hold on. Is there? <gasps> oh, I got out of there. In fact, in fact, those guys that's... Wait, why can't I attack? It won't let me attack. Oh! I had my tech helmet shooter blast this thing going on. Who's bleeding beneath me? What is going on down there? And look who we accidentally skipped over, by the way. The level 620 a giga. And I can barely move. What's going on? What's going on? What do you want, Mr. Giga? Yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing. You're dead. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry, but that is all. That is all the tech cave for over today. <laughs> I can't believe we survived this. Oh, I'm so glad Santa came to say hello as well. And we've made it through the cave yet again. What a weak cave. You guys said this was hard. You guys tell me. Yeah, that's right. You poop on the tech cave, Bob. You, you, you poop on that tech cave. Nothing. Nothing. Didn't stand a chance. Well, let's go make our third walk up here. The third walk of... It's not the walk of shame. Just the third walk and conquer this thing once and for all. Show the game who's boss. Show the game what we are made of. And we have made it. Bob, like his like his brother before him, Rob, has made it. <laughs> oh, I read some funny comments in last video. A lot of rest in peace, Robs. A lot of them. Um, but hey, a lot of people were excited that Bob gets to like, you know, live up, live up the, I don't know, live in his father's footsteps or brother's footsteps or whatever they are to one another. But it turns out they're both disappearing. What a, what a shock turn of events that was. But, oh, so we get some kind of cool cutscene. Apparently you're supposed to get a cutscene. I haven't seen any cool cutscenes yet. But I guess in a matter of 20 seconds, we're going to find out what happens. Or what wants to happen this time at least. And hopefully something cool happens. I, I don't know. Something tells me nothing cool is going to happen though. Oh, man. It's sad. I'm so sad to be ending this series, or this season at least. Sad time, but let us ascend once again. And we got credits again. Well, you know what? I think we're going to say our goodbyes during these credits, guys. Thank you so much for, for just helping helping make this such an awesome series of arc. It was it was a lot of fun. I had so much fun with it. I hope you guys did too. I mean, for those of you who stuck around, there's at least 20,000 of you guys who stuck around for 67 episodes. So to you guys, thank you so much. Uh, now, there won't be any more arc for the rest of the week. Sorry about that. Next week, though, I will be launching a new series of arc, a new season of arc. 
I'm yet to decide what that's going to be. But let me know down below in the comments any suggestions that you'd like to see. I'm thinking possibly a Ragnarok map. Maybe an Extinction Core mod. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see about that. And I know Lachlan's keen as well. So I'm going to try and get Lachlan in for that too. Whether it's for part of the series or the whole thing. We'll see how we go. Uh, but guys, again, thank you so much. I've got nothing more to say, unfortunately. But it's been an adventure from rags to riches. <laughs> it really was. We started out so weak and we ended up so powerful. It was just on another level. But uh, thanks so much, guys. If you enjoyed the series, or excited for more of them, make sure to go ahead and punch the thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And I will catch you guys with the next season very, very, very soon. Bye. Bye now.